Hey guys, I'm Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. So today, I want to take a look at a radio. I received this from the vendor. They are not going to approve this review. They will not see it before you do. They have no input into it. But I did receive it at no cost to me or the channel from the vendor. This is maybe familiar to some of y'all. This is the TalkPod. Yep. It's a talk pod. So I did not get one on the first go round of talk pods and talk pod reached out to me recently and asked if I would like to get a sample to review. So I said, well, sure. Cause I love tinkering with radios. So this is the talk pod, a 36 plus ham radio walkie talkie new model. And there's all the model number and an FCC ID. We'll look at that in a second. So, this is the 8-watt model. Um, their website's a little strange. There's several A36 models. This one is the A36 Plus 8W, 8-watt radio, and we'll test that as well. So <clears throat> I've already unboxed this and have played with it a little bit. The radio comes with, of course, the bag for the radio and the battery and a small instruction sheet that goes over the specs, two chargers. So it has a USB-A charger, and I assume, yep, a USB-A to C cable, so you can charge this that way. And it also comes with this desktop charger, of course, a strap and a handy belt clip, all the usual accoutrements. Actually, I think this is kind of neat that you've got, basically you've got two chargers in here, and they, and they sent it, which is cool. Um, it also comes with a programming cable. This is, this is cool because a lot of these radios don't come with programming cables, which is very annoying. So with the contents of the box out of the way, and of course it has a radio, which is what we're fixing to look at right now. So here is the actual radio that I received. This is a very, it feels solid, feels like a good build. It has, uh, the ubiquitous rubber hatch to cover up your connectors. It charges with a, the two pin K1 style connector. You have two programmable function buttons on the side, a third programmable function button on the top. This is off and on and your volume. This is USB-C chargeable. It is not USB-C programmable. This is only for charging the battery, sadly. The battery comes out by pressing these two little nubbins down. And you can see here the battery on this guy is a 3200 milliamp hour battery, 7.4 volts. And it's a, it's a bit of a chunky boy. And then if we look at the inside of the radio, you can see that we have, now we'll get to this in a second. This says TX is 462, boy, that's hard to read, even on the camera, 462 to 470, and then receive is a lot wider. That is not the case. This radio transmits on UHF as well, all right? Now, the model says GMRS, but it is a TalkPod, TalkPod A36 Plus GMRS, 8 watts. I tried to look up this FCC ID and I could not find it. So your mileage may vary. I don't know if this is being sold as a GMRS radio, which is what I suspect, but I did not unlock this. I didn't hack this. This radio came straight from the factory. I opened this box and started tinkering with it. The radio itself looks like a typical Baofeng style menu on this thing. Let's turn it on, take a look at it. It does say talk pod. You can put it in VFO mode or memory mode. I have, it, I have it set in memory mode at the moment. It has two VFOs, an A and a B VFO. Out of the box from the factory, this button is the transmit button for your second VFO, which I thought was kind of a cool feature. Um, this is similar to what I've seen on the Yaesu FTM 500. I have not seen a lot of budget radios that have that kind of feature where you have two different transmits you can use. So that's cool. The primary button transmits on A. The secondary button, which I think I've monkeyed with. No, there it is. 
it's this one that is the secondary transmit, transmits on B. So that is a swank feature. The rest of the features in the radio are honestly the same kind of thing you'd expect in every radio. It does a squelch tail, it does DTMF, it does two-tone and five-tone decode if you wanted to do that kind of thing. It does have some rudimentary encryption as amateurs were not allowed to have encryption, so there's that. From the factory, it came in channel mode, memory mode, and it came built in with all the GMRS frequencies listed in it. I added in the two that you saw that weren't a GMRS frequency. So it is, as I said, being sold as a GMRS radio. I have not tried to transmit on anything except VHF and UHF ham bands. That does work fine. The radio itself, and I will put a link for it, I think is about $50 on Amazon. What I don't know specifically is what models are listed on Amazon and I will try to do a little research before I post this video to make sure I post the correct link for this one if you're interested in it. And I will have an affiliate link in the in the dingus below. And it sounds fine. I haven't noticed anything untoward about the audio volume that it was very distorted or anything else. I mean, I was just sitting right here with other HTs so with the talk pod hooked up to the oscilloscope, you can see that those are not nice and even sine waves. It looks like there's some sort of maybe phase issue because I'm seeing two or three waves, four waves as we go. So I don't know, not real happy with that, but it's probably close enough for oh, FM. God. So that's that. Let's jump to the spectrum analyzer and see what it looks like for the talk pod. Okay, we've got it set up and let's key up and see what it looks like. So this chart is sorted in frequency order and you'll see that we have our primary is at 34, 33, 34 dBm. Our second harmonic, number two on that chart, uh, which keeps moving as number two pops up and goes away. Uh, is minus 20 dB, which is 54 dB below fundamental, and it's below the 16 dBm line, so that's okay. But you'll see every so often we get another peak at 219, which is well above the 16.02 dBm line. Uh, that is 42, 43 below the primary. So you can see that poach is above the line. So that's kind of a fail. Although when it does, that 219 megahertz signal is more than 40 dB below our fundamental-ish, but it's, uh, it's still popping up above it and it's not very solid, which is also kind of strange. The third one at 293, marker number three, the third line over, is minus 24 dBm, so that's fine. And number four at 440 is minus 17 dBm. So that's okay. It kind of pops up, but you can see that last harmonic spike that's sticking up is right at the edge. And on initial key up, I don't see anything here that's wrong. But as we held this down, then it started getting dirty. So that's kind of sketch. Let's change power and take a look at it real quick. All right, this is medium power. And I think we're gonna to wanna to change our reference level. So let's raise that up and let's key up on medium power. And you can see that both of those harmonics are below the line and 35 plus 20 is well more than 43. So that passes on medium power. That third harmonic is a little sketchy, but it's below the line. And that's minus 17. So 17 and 35 is 52 dB below the primary. All right, let's go to high power. All right, high power. And our primary is at 38 dBm. And our second harmonic, while it is 43 below, is over minus 16 dBm at minus 14. So while it is more than 40 dBm below the fundamental, it is over 16 dBm 
minus 16 dBm of power. So that's uh, that's kind of a fail. All right, one last thing. Let's change our amplitude scale to watts on our units and see if we have eight watts on this guy. So we're gonna set our reference level watts and we should see it pop up close to 10. Look at that. So this is supposedly an eight watt radio and I'm seeing seven, 7.48 watts of output power. Yeah, interestingly enough, the radio seems to have warmed up. Number two is poaching a little bit, but it's good. And this is on high power. Yeah, it looks worse on low power than it does on high, but still legal at this point. When I turned this on, it wasn't. Hmm, interesting. All right, go figure. All right, guys, that's going to be about it. For this video, though, so this is the TalkPod A36 Plus GMRS 8W. I think this is about $50 on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below. I feel a cautious recommendation on it. It seems that it gets better after it's been on and warmed up a bit. In any case, that's all I've got for today. Guys, appreciate it. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks. Have a great day.